Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. It's definitely been a little bit since I've made another video, but I have a few updates on the channel. I'd like to shout out to Nate Arts, the person who made the little character on all my YouTube thumbnails now. I'm slowly going to be changing all of my thumbnails to something more professional instead of the default, which is pretty awesome and I'm happy to have made that step within my channel. Now, I'm going to be linking them in the description of all of my videos now, so expect some of those tiny little quality of life changes to the channel. The avatar we also have here today is Yiru on Booth. I will be linking the creator and this avatar in below in the description, as always. I'm also going to be linking the shop link to what I am going to be teaching you today. So for those of you who have watched my previous videos, I am making small YouTube tutorials on the script for Unity called the AV3 Creator. AV3 Creator was made by Rafa. It is a Unity script in order to help people do things such as material swaps, such as toggles, and all like dissolve toggles, all of these little things that just make editing so much easier, so much more fun. I love this script. I am making these tutorials because this is a script I use all of the time. Every single edit, I use this script over and over and over again. The creator has never reached out to me and asked me to make these tutorials. In fact, I was the one that reached out to them to ask if I could do this because I feel as though this script directly correlates to the demographic audience that I have here on this channel, which is Unity Beginners. So if you are a Unity beginner and you want to do super easy things, and they get it done fast and more or less focus on your avatar editing than the technical side of it. This script is for you, even for creators that are wanting to even out their workload, make it a little bit easier. Totally recommend this creator, totally recommend the script. It is $10. That is so, so, so worth it. I cannot stress that enough. Just as the title of this video though, I am going to be teaching you how to make a, a material swap singular using this script. So without further ado, let us get into the details of it. I personally am only doing tutorials on the basic side of this, so you can click here buying the basic. Once you've bought that, you can come to your Unity project right here and drag and drop your Unity script into your assets folder down here. Now, what we are going to do here is change a material from one material to another. Now, this can be as many materials as you want. So you could change it from your entire avatar from one color to another, but please keep in mind it is only going from one material to the next. I'm not making a radial menu, creating a bunch of different materials. It is only a swap, a singular swap but it can have as many materials as you want on your avatar. I hope that makes sense. For those who don't understand, stick around. It'll make a little bit more sense the farther in I get. So now that we have our AV3 creator imported into our Unity scene, we are gonna come to the top and click AV3 creator, which will be beside your component, assuming you have no other scripts. You're gonna click on that and click advanced toggle creator. For you, what that is going to do is it's going to pop up this little menu right here. I click on the tab at the very top and I drag and drop that anywhere that I want in my Unity project to lock it into place and make it ease of access for myself. For me, I am putting it right here as to keep my Unity project looking as similar as what you guys would normally have as possible. So after I've done that, I'm going to look at my avatar and decide what I want to swap. Now. What we need here for the swap is two materials. I'm going to be using this jacket as example. Here's the black and white jacket, but I have a second material that adds color onto the jacket. So one, two. I have two materials. That is the requirements to doing this. You need two materials. If you are unsure on how to make uh, sorry, if you're unsure how to make materials, check out my earlier tutorial on how to create edit existing materials or to create a new material. I highly recommend checking out that YouTube video as that's going to exactly explain how to get a second material if you don't already have one. Now if you do have your material, and again this is a material not a texture, I know I've said that 10 times, but making sure that point is very clear. 
So once you have your two materials here and making sure that they both work for the object that you want to change, assuming it's just one, or if you have multiple materials, make sure you have your duplicates of every material. So if you are doing the jackets, you're gonna make sure your jacket has two materials. If you're doing your hair, make sure you have your two hair materials and so forth and so on. Make sure you have all of that. Now coming over to our inspector, we are going to check for two things. Click on your avatar on that left hand side in the hierarchy system and then come to your inspector scroll all the way down from there and look at your expressions. Then look at your menu. We're going to click on our menu. From here you have two options. If you are going to want to create a new main menu, meaning it's going to be one of these mains, that means you are going to have to clear up space or make sure you have enough space for another menu. Make sure your active avatar is the one in your hierarchy system and not one that you aren't going to be using. After we have decided that, um, decided if we want to create a menu or choose an existing menu, make sure that you are memorizing the menu that you want to put this in. So for me, I have submenus. I'm going to click on my main menu and I'm going to click on my submenu. From here, I have two other menus. I'm going to either put this in pattern costume or pattern item. Now this may be different for you depending on how your avatar is set up, but make sure you either know if you want to create a new menu or add to an existing one and remember the sub menu name that this is. So for me, it's going to be this one. I'm going to click on that so I remember it. I'm going to click on the sub menu so I directly remember that. After I've done that, I'm going to click on my avatar again. Scroll all the way down in the inspector to the parameters. I'm going to scroll all the way to the bottom of my parameters and I'm going to check out the total memory. I need to make sure that my total memory has space, that it is not at 256. For those of you who are wondering how I've gotten the 256 mem total memory space, that is a part of the newer SDK. So if you are not seeing as much as I have, it's more likely that you are using an older SDK and not a newer VRChat SDK, which I totally recommend if you are going to follow this tutorial. After we made sure we have had all of the space in the world to do what we need to do, we are going to come to our advanced toggle creator tab. From here, we are going to drag and drop from the hierarchy system into our little VRC avatar descriptor here. Now, if you only have one avatar in your hierarchy system, you can simply click auto fill. If you have multiple avatars, please drag and drop as to not get an avatar that you are not working on. You want the one you are working on in this area right here. Your output directory is going to be where everything is saved. It's going to create better organization as it says here make sure that you have your output directory set. Now we're getting into the nitty gritty of things. If you have write defaults on or off, this is where you are going to adjust them. If you do not know what write defaults are, simply leave it as default and do not touch it. Overwrite means that we are going to be overwriting any existing materials that are listed the same thing that follow the same conditions. I just have that checked by default, but let's just say you made a mistake and you want to change something, overwrite is a good thing to keep. Now, this is where our choice came into play, create a menu or choose an existing. If you are going to create a new menu, check that off and type the name of your new menu here. If you are going to add it to an existing, like myself, make sure that is unchecked and click the menu that you wanted that in initially. So for me, it was the pattern costume. Now there's two. If you have wanted this to be onto your main menu, your main radial toggle menu, that means if you open your in-game and you open your little radial menu, your toggle menu, it is going to be one of those main menus make sure that is checked. If you are not wanting to do this or you are adding it to a, an existing menu, keep that unchecked because it'll just duplicate itself if you are going to do that while having this new menu here. Everything else I recommend not checking off. I've had these unchecked. I just would, I just leave them as is. From there, we are going to click add and we are going to name our toggle here. So for me, I'm going to call it material swap. If you have an icon that you want to add, check off this little icon and then select your icon texture here. 
but for me, I do not have one. Now, is local meaning that you are going to be the only one that sees said thing? I recommend unchecking that because I don't know in what situation you'd want this to be local. Now we are going to drop down this little tab that says a module, where it says add module, go from none to change material, then click add. So from here, it's going to be asking for a renderer, meaning it is asking for the object that has the material attached to it. Now, uh, for me, it's going to be the jacket. So I'm going to click on the jacket on my avatar, and it is going to take me to where that is in the hierarchy system. I'm going to drag and drop that where it says none renderer. Now, you can do this as many times as you want for every material that you want to have a swap for, but this is all going to be attached to the same toggle. So meaning if I added six different different things that I wanted to change, when I toggle that in game, all of those six different things are changing at once. If you want to change individual objects, meaning that you want every material swap to be its own individual toggle, make sure you are clicking add and setting it as a new toggle, not adding it under the existing one. If you are fine with it all swapping at once, then add it under your existing one. So if you are having problems adding your renderer, your object here, it's not applying, that is most likely because you are using a drop down little here. If you look up here in your hierarchy system, you'll have a drop down. Now, when you're adding things into Unity, it is very common that sometimes the materials are attached to the different parts of things. So for example, let's say I dragged body in and it just wasn't working. This body part was not working. I drop down and I look down to where the material is going to be attached. So it wasn't body, then I'm going to click detail and I look over here. My material is attached to that part of the object. So instead of dragging the main, I'm going to drag the little drop down here to here and it's boom, it's going to work because the material is attached to that specific part. Now we're going to go back to the coat and we have that here. So from here, my coat, you can see, is made up of two materials. I'm going to go to my coat and I'm going to check what material it is that I want to change. So I'm going to click this and I'm going to go to my two materials and I'm going to make sure that it is the material that I want to change. So for me, looking at it, mat three out of two is the one I want to change to material three. Whatever yours is named, it's going to be named similarly. So the one I'm seeing here, I wanted to change material 3 to. I'm going to come to the end and click plus. I'm done with all these materials. I do not want to change the other material. If you want to change the other material, click the plus sign for said material. So now that I found the material on the jacket that I want to change, it is going to say none material beside it. That is going to be the material that I am swapping to. I'm going to drag and drop the material that I want it to swap to and it is going to apply itself there. Now once you have done all of this, make sure you have finished all of your toggles, every last one of them. That means if you are doing more material swaps, make sure you finish all of those. If you're making sure that you're adding more materials to a singular swap, make sure you have finished those. Double check over everything that you've done and make sure that it is as you want it. From there, we are going to click create toggles. Yes, create my toggles and come back to our inspector. Click on our avatar in the hierarchy system and come down to our expressions menu. I'm going to find the menu that I originally added that into. So for me, it was pattern costume. And I'm going to see right here, my material swap added itself to my menu. So now when I go in game, it is going to be under that menu in my little toggle menu. I hope this tutorial helped you and gave you a little bit of insight on how easy the script is to use. Where it does look a little complicated, it is super easy, uncomplicated, so much time I have saved using this. So I really genuinely hope this helped those who wanted to know and I hope you all have a fantastic day.